Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. I'm very excited today because I have a bag full of Mecca Cosmetics product. It's the first time I try any products from this brand and I'm very excited. I have full faith of so many things in here. Brushes, makeup, everything you can think about. So if you're interested to hear my thoughts and learn more about these products and the brand, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I am going to put my precious thing around my hair so we can protect my hairband. Okay, so Mecca Cosmetics, I'm going to put the name of this brand here. I'm not really sure if I pronounce it right, but I'm going to read what it says on their website. Uh, it says that it's a Norweg Norwegian brand. It started 2009 and they are the most popular website, Mecca.se. Mecca <laughs> Sorry if I pronounce this name of this brand wrong. I don't really know how to pronounce it. They want to give you famous international good products with high quality, all cruelty free but in a very nice price. So with a nice price. So let's see. I'm so sorry if I can't pronounce everything. I have an eyeshadow palette, some brushes, Concealer and brush. Of course, more brushes. I also have a brush soap. I do have. This is very nice. I haven't used it, but I am going to. More concealer. I have foundations. Two shades. I have a pore minimum primer more brushes, eyebrow product mascara, a blush, face powder, highlighter, a lipstick, eyeshadow primer and a last product. I have, last product. I have a lip pen and also lip gloss and I think yes I think that was everything. And I have paper with the price information. Now this is in Swedish. I will try to kind of give you an example around how many dollars it costs. 306 is a foundation brush, so we are going to use it. Let's start with the primer. Mecca Plumping Pore Primer, Face Primer. This is how it, the packaging looks. Sorry for my nails, I broke one. I'm going to fix it. I Hopefully tonight I have time to do that. Now this is how the primer looks. Should I blind you? Just a poor, poor feeling primer. So I'm going to use that today. I'm going to use my fingers maybe. Oh, it feels kind of uh, oily. Like Vaseline. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. So I'm going to have some uh, friends, my children are going to have friends over, so if you hear children talk, that's the friends. I know how much to apply I will be, I think this is more enough. It feels light, but it feels like I have a thin oil on my face. Um, it feels smooth and, and everything, but I'm not really sure how it's going to make my oily skin not so oily. They do have other primers, but this primer I paid around nine dollars so it's a very nice price okay so i have two foundations or one sort of foundation but two shades and now they i know they have different foundations but i wanted to buy this mattifying camouflage foundation this is how it looks and this is on the back i have neutral light two and neutral light three now i'll swatch this over this says this says self-setting liquid powder foundation infused with antioxidants and minerals hydrates and conditions skin full coverage and it's good for six months after the opening and i'm going to see i think i swatched both of the shades they kind of feels very liquid i have to be honest number two it's oxidize a little bit 
So this is number two light and this is natural light three. Hmm. I think I'm going to go in for two. I'm going to go with light, light, neutral light too. It's kind of liquid so I'm going to shake it. It smells like face cream. Now this is a very nice brush. It says big foundation brush, brush 306. I don't know if you can see the name. But this is a very nice brush. I'm going to take a little bit of this foundation on my hand. And it's going to light, but we'll see. Maybe I need to kind of mix it with. It smells a little bit strong, but oh, this brush feels very soft. This looks to be a very good shade for me. Oh, I love this brush. This brush is so soft. Let's see how the foundation goes on. Oh, very light. This foundation is very light. And it has very nice coverage, I have to be honest. That it does have strong scent. It has like citrusy, like face wash, cleanser, citrusy scent. It doesn't bother me, but if, you're, if you don't like scents in your foundations, I don't know if you're going to like it because it's a little bit strong. It sits funny on my nose, but it doesn't really have to do anything with the foundation. These couple of days or weeks my nose has been really working against me and I haven't been able to give any foundation a really good chance because it moves from my nose, doesn't matter what I do. This foundation sits very nice on the skin. Now, I think the primer is kind of weird because I can see it moving the foundation away. You know, like um, the the primer is a little bit oily, so it feels like it moves the foundation a little bit. Let's see if I can go in with this puff and just press it into the skin. This is the Tati Beauty Hot Puff, smaller one. Now this foundation is nice. I really like it. I just I'm not sure about the primer though. I think the primer makes it a look a little bit patchy and a little bit uneven because it looks very nice on some parts of my face, but I think the primer is not the best. Okay, so let's go over. Now I have two concealers. I have this Hydra Shape Concealer. It's a hydrating concealer. You can see my fingerprints over here. And I have the other one. This is a matte creamy co covering concealer. I want to use both of them, so I'm going to use one on one side of the face and the other on the other side of the face. So this is very light. So, and I'm going to try the concealer brush. This is number 308 Let's see the concealer. This is a very light concealer. It has a light coverage. The brush is nice. It's a nice concealer. It doesn't cover a lot, but I don't hate it. It's very, very nice. Let's go with this concealer, the Hydra Shade Concealer. Oh, this is more, more full coverage than the other one. But it still feels light like the first one does. To use my finger and blend it. Can't really see any big difference. I feel like this one is more matte than this one. Yeah, that's the only difference. But they do a good job, both of them. Multi use moisturizing concealer is this one that I've. So it is more moisturizing. And multi use it means that you can use it um, to contour, to highlight, and other things. So. Very nice. Okay, I like that. I'm going to set everything. So I am going to use the What's Cooking Good Looking Setting and Baking Powder. And I did bought it in Translucent. So I am going to open it. You can definitely hear children running around here. 
but I really wanted to film today. I'm kind of excited to try new products. I love trying new products, especially new brands. And Mecca Cosmetics, their products look so nice and cruelty free and also very affordable. And then, well, well, I opened everything and I unfortunately it took a little bit too much of the powder, but yeah, okay, okay, we can make it work. So I'm going to kind of blend and I'm going to bake with this. Let's bake. This part is very light. Doesn't have a special scent. Until this bake, I am going to try the eyeshadow primer. So this is the packaging. It kind of looks very interesting. The packaging looks very interesting. It says eyeshadow magnet. Uh, the eyeshadow magnet, the eyeshadow primer costs primer costs around three dollars, and it was on sale. Usually, it costs around nine dollars. I forgot to say that the primer was nine dollars, around nine dollars, and then the foundation was around. I paid four dollars, but it's usually around eleven, twelve dollars. And the powder is. I paid five dollars, but it's usually fifteen. And then the concealers are. Let's see the Hydra Shape Multi Concealer. This one is I paid five dollars, and the other concealer that it's a creamy covering concealer. That one is I paid almost four dollars, three fifty, but it costs around eleven, twelve dollars. That's kind of good price too. Did I say the yes? The price of this, the brush, the concealer brush costs four dollars. So I think it's a very nice concealer brush. It's very soft. It doesn't pull my skin. It kind of feels nice. So let's go over to the eyeshadow primer, and this is how the primer looks. It's kind of very interesting consistency. So I am going to use a brush, and I bought the collection. So I have to I'll be honest. I bought. They're, they had a very nice sale, so I bought the set, brush set. I bought the eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette, and also I got this for around thirty dollars. So it was a sale. I don't usually know how much it costs, but I will put the links down below so you can check it out. I'm going to find a brush to use. This one looks to be a very nice brush foundation brush. it kind of reminds me of the new um, rare beauty brush i think i'm going to clean the concealer brush and just use that for the eyeshadow primer and i am going to set the eyeshadow primer because i always set my eyeshadow primers and maybe i shouldn't do that but i am going to do so this feels very oily too kind of makes me nervous it doesn't really have any coverage. It feels very oily, but I have other primers that feel the same until they dry down. Now it dried down and it doesn't feel as oily as it did in the beginning and it feels very nice. I am actually going to use the big fluffy powder brush to remove all of the powder that I have on my Oh my God, such a soft brush. This is a very soft brush. I really like it. See this part on my face? Hmm. This looks really weird. The foundation looks interesting, I have to say. Really interesting. Hmm. The foundation looks kind of okay in some parts. Some parts it looks like it's sitting on my face kind of weird and I think it has to do with the cons with the primer definitely because I didn't like the primer and it's it's very interesting on my nose like small bumps and the concealer didn't really cover this part here it looks a little bit dry so we'll see I'll definitely play with these products a little bit more the only thing I didn't bought is the co the bronzer and the reason why is because the bronzer they had, I think they had like three different bronzers and all of them were very shimmery. It says like whole uh, glowy bronzy look and I don't like, I don't like 
these shimmery bronzers at all and I was scared to buy something and not use it so I'm going to use my Smashbox palette that I really really like so I'm going to contour and bronze fast so you don't need to watch that a lot but we do have everything else but we are going to go into the blush now this blush is very interesting this blush costs cost around nine dollars and this is a shade charming this is how the packaging looks and when I looked at the, this on internet it was a very beautiful shade now in real life it's more light than I thought it would be so I hope this will show on my skin tone it's very light and if you can see and I did swatch it so let's see if we maybe I need to build it up but I hope it's it will show and I'm going to use this brush that's number well I don't know doesn't have a number but it looks like very nice oh well uh, that's <laughs> that's powdery I pressed a little bit too much and I didn't need that to do that let's see oh oh this is so pretty oh I really like the blush it's so natural and definitely visible on my skin tone such a beautiful blush I like that and also no it doesn't have any scent but I can still uh, smell something and I think it's the foundation it's not too strong but I can still feel it I thought I didn't but yes I do so I like the blush a lot I really like the blush a lot I thought it wouldn't show on my skin too but it does and I really really like it. it's such a nice soft look like that so far this is my favorite product in okay I need to fix these eyebrows we need to fix these eyebrows and I do have an eyebrow pencil now I was kind of nervous didn't know what shade to buy but this eyebrow pencil brow on fleek and this is in shade dark looks like this the packaging now this is such a small pointy it has a spoolie here very nice spoolie so i'm kind of excited to try this product and this pen was let's see price of fleet nine dollars so it's a nice price oh i need to fix my eyebrows but can do that tonight okay let's see oh these give you a really nice chance to make small hair strokes and as uh, it's pigmented but if you press it hard it's going to be more pigmented so you can control how much you want it to show I kind of like this pencil and the shade is nice there is a patch part here on my forehead and if you can see I don't know why okay. oh I like the spoolie a lot I like the eyebrow pencil now eyebrows are not twins they're sisters but it works I want to go with the highlighter because I want to do eyeshadow the last one I'm going to go with the highlighter now I bought this one this is liquid illuminator in shade Luna shade before use this one costed five dollars this is the packaging and it's like a rose gold shade and I'm going to this is how it looks so I'm going to feels kind of oily when I swatched it so I'm scared that it's going to remove the foundation but let's see this is a very nice highlighter but I can't really see that it's moving the foundation though no it doesn't do that this is a very beautiful highlight and it doesn't move my foundation which is awesome I was kind of scared because of that oily um, oily primer that we have but I am going to play with these products more this is just my first impression and then I will do an update video 
uh, where I'm talking about the products I tested and how much, if I like them or not. So now it's the time for eyeshadow palette. They have different eyeshadow palettes, but this one caught my eye. This is the, this reminds me of Anastasia's, uh, what it's called, the Modern Renaissance palette. This is the Pillow Talk and it's vegan, of course, and this is the shade. Shades, look how beautiful it is. Let's remove this plastic. Now, it's nothing new. I had definitely have these shades in other palettes, but look how beautiful it is. And I wanted to try it. So I'm going to use the brushes also that I got. I am going to go in with this cute brush and I'm going to go into this shade, Satin Sheets, which is more as like my, you can hear the kids. It's more like my transition shade, but almost as my skin tone just to, you know, I don't know, have a nice base to it. Oh, the brush is very soft. Then I'm going to go into this shade here, Heart, Heart to Heart, this shade here. Soft, rosy shade. Also not so visible on my eyelids, but such a beautiful shade. They are a little bit powdery, but I don't know if you can see, but doesn't bother me at all. Then I'm going to go into this shade. You had me at Hello. I really like the names of this palette. The quality and the shades and the palette packaging reminds me of Zoeva palettes, and I like that brand too. Ooh, I mean, these are blending very nice. The quality is there. Look. Sorry for the kids, can't do anything about it. Their friends are over here and they're playing, so. And I'm doing everything with the same brush. This is such a soft brush and I really like the brushes and the shades are like a dream. Really, really like every single brush, brush eyeshadow that I tried here. Now I want to switch the brush and take a more dense brush and go into this PS shade here. They're not too pigmented, so they are very beginner friendly. And I want to go into this shade, darkest shade here that it's called Cuddle Up. <laughs> Such a cute name. There is a little bit of fallout, but so little, so I can't, I'm not even seeing it if I don't look very close really like the palette so i want to go with my fingers and i want to use all of the all of these three shimmer shades they have in here so i am going to go first with this shade here that it's called until dawn and then i'm going to continue with this shade that it's called i'm yours not refound <laughs> refound such a cute name and then we have the soulmate so i'm going to start with the deepest then this other one and the lighter shade. So let's go. Oh my God, look at this. I can't pronounce, but this has like brown, pink, blue, gold shimmer in it. It's unbelievable, pretty. And it goes on very nice. Ooh, very pigmented. They feel like butter. I'm going to clean everything. Then I'm going to go in. I'm yours, not refound. This shade here. Connect these two. Oh, wow. Look at that. You know what, guys? I'm really liking the eyeshadow primer, too. Oh, my God. It's still like a perfect marriage. These two together. And I'm going to go in the lightest shade, Soulmate, which is such a cute contour. This one is, feels more dry than the other two, but I don't know how to explain this shade. But Oh, wow. No, this one is more, I get more fallout from it than those two others. 
pretty shade. It feels like it's not as pigmented as the other two and not as easy and soft like these other two, but it's a stunning shade. And of course, if you give it the time to build it up and kind of press it on the eyelid, it will work exactly like the other two. So I'm going to go in with one of the brushes that I used and just without adding more eyeshadow, just go in and clean the edges a little bit. I'm going to take this brush again and I'm going to go actually in the shade that we haven't used so far and it's the only shade we didn't use here. No, not the, there are two shades we didn't use and we are going to go in very close to the low lash line with this shade called B and then we are going to blend everything with this shade actually. So let's go in with B. Take same brush and go into actually and just blend everything. I am really liking how everything looks. So I am going to use a little bit of Fix Plus. They didn't have the setting spray or I couldn't see it. So I'm going to do a, a little bit of Fix Plus and then I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty. Now, I really like how the foundation looks after sitting a little bit on my skin. Uh, and the eyeshadow is beautiful. Now, the mattes are not as pigmented, too pigmented, so you do need to build them up a little bit. As you can see, I do want to try to build up a little bit in the crease, going with this darker shade. I'm going to switch the brush and take more round, dense brush because I want my crease a little bit darker. Okay, that's really, really cute. Now, this didn't cover the concealer. Maybe I can build it up later. Okay, so I'm going to curl my lashes and try the mascara. So I just went over to my children's room and asked them to be more quiet. I don't know if that's possible, but we are soon finished. I'm going to try the mascara. And now they had different mascaras and I did uh, went with so long mascara. It promised very long, nice eyesha eyeshadows, no, eyelashes. So, oh, that's a very interesting wand. I haven't seen anything like this before. This is interesting. Let's go. Light is kind of weird. Oh, well, it grabs every single eyelash. This is pretty. It really made them very long. It's very liquidy though, but I do like how it looks. I'm going to build it up, of course. This is two coats, light coat with mascara. It's very liquidy, so I did have some transformation up here while I was applying it, but I'm going to clean that up later. It doesn't really bother me a lot. It's nothing major. That's like, like I feel it's going to destroy the makeup. So I'm going to put some eyelashes and I'm going to go with Demi Whispers. So guys, now I up, the, the sun is kind of weird. I hope you don't mind. Now I'll finish the eyes. I, I really like the mascara. Now I do have to be careful while using it because it does, it's very liquidy. So you need to kind of like clean afterwards. I am going to use another smaller brush because I want to put the lightest shimmer shade in the corners. There is some fallout from those glittery shades that I can't remove, but the foundation doesn't look bad, but I'm not 100% happy with it. Let's see how this is going to look. That's pretty. It goes really nice on with the brush. That's pretty. Okay, we have a couple of more things to try. I am going to try the lip liner. So this is lip liner on point in shade one 
and the shade that's on this cap it's actually this shade for the pen which I kind of like so I'm going to try that and the sun is really strange right now I'm sorry It feels a little bit dry, but it still goes on smooth. And I'm going to go in with the lipstick. Now the lipstick that I chose, look at this packaging. This is shade Pure. Look at this packaging. This packaging, I had it up and down. It's such a beautiful packaging. It's creamy. No, my lips are dry, so it doesn't really moisturize. But I really like the shade. I like the shade. And I'm going to go in, sorry for the kids again. I'm going to go in with the lip gloss, and this is Lip Glaze Dragon Fruit, I think it's called. Dragon fruit, yes, it's kind of nice, cute shade. I can't really. I thought it was shimmery before when I looked at the internet, but it's it smells like sweet fruit. It's just a clear gloss. I'm going to just try it. Hmm, this one is very creamy. It shines very nice in the sun. I like the gloss a lot. I'm going to clean the wand. This is the final look. Now, uh, let me just say, I do like the foundation. I have to try the foundation more with the uh, br with this brush. This brush is amazing. I really love the brushes. Really love the brushes, and I'm going to continue playing with them because I didn't have to chance to try all of the brushes. But I do like the brush, and I do like the foundation. I'm not really sure something got. Uh, I'm not really sure about the primer. I have to try that with other foundations that I love and see if that primer is, is going to be a little bit better because I'm not really sure if I like it. Uh, and uh, blush, oh my god, I love the blush and I love the highlighter. Didn't remove my foundation and it looks giving me that wet shine. You don't know if you can see it, just gives me a very nice wet shine. I love the eyeshadow palette. Eyebrow product, I really like the eyebrow product. Now it's a little bit dark and I did use dark. I did use a dark because the other shade looked a little bit too red or too light. I don't know. But I really like the product. Concealers are nice. Um, I don't know. I need to play with them a little bit more because they didn't, didn't give me the coverage that I really really like but I just applied a small amount and I need to try to build it up and also try it with the um, uh, with the sponge. They don't make my eyes look too heavy, doesn't feel like I have makeup on on my skin, even the primer does, I can't feel it. Now I have to be honest, I can feel the scent of the foundation. I don't know if it's going to stay on the whole day and if, if it's going to fade during the day. But I'm playing with this for, let me see, about an hour and I can feel it on my skin. And I, and I can't feel it on my skin but I can feel the scent. But guys, I really like the brushes and I really like the, this brand. I think it's so amazing to try something new and play with new makeup. This, uh, the lip products feel very nice on the lips and I kind of like how everything turned out. I'm not really happy how the foundation though looks on my nose. That looks weird, but I'll try to play with it a little bit more. But it looks, this looks like my skin, but more, uh, but beautiful, <laughs> you know. I know if it's poor minimizing, yes it is a little bit, I have to be honest. I like how everything turned out, um, but like I said, I'm going to play more with these products. I think it's amazing something new and I'm always excited to try and play with more pro new products and especially a brand I just heard about. But so far I'm very impressed, I really like the products and I think I'm going to want to try more from a makeup, yeah, makeup mecca brand and I'm very in curious to try the brush soap. It's very cute. Mm, it smells fresh citrusy. Looks really, really cute. Yeah. 
I'm going to try that too. I like the packaging. Well, guys, please let me know down below if you tried any of uh, the products from Makeup Makeup Mecca or Makeup by Mecca, or I don't really know. Sorry for uh, destroying the name. It's not. I just. I'm not really sure how to pronounce the brand brand name. But let me know down below if you tried anything from this brand, or you're curious. Do you want me to put something in the giveaway? Because I know that many people can't get these products, but. Please let me know down below if you're interested, what do you think about the products, how it looks on my skin and please give a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye!